Angels. It's currently Tuesday, May 7th. Um, as you can see in the background, um, last April 22nd, so not last week, but I believe the week before I vlogged, um, is now up. I know I'm late on posting, but I don't know. The quality isn't the best. I'm working on it right now. Right now I'm filming in, in HD and like on like medium instead of low, so it's going to be hopefully a little bit better quality for you guys. Um, Part of my head like that. That is being edited and upload, and then I have one more video, but I'm having troubles getting it off my memory card. Um, also, if any of you have any programs you use right now, I don't have. I'm using just a free software. I can't really trim anything. I can't speed things up. I can't really do anything besides taking this, putting all the clips together, and putting it up. That's pretty much all I can do. I can add music and stuff like that, but. Because these are vlogs, there's not really much music scenes because I don't know how to trim in stuff. So if any of you have any suggestions on that, leave the comments below. Um, anyhow, um, the reason why I was just getting uploaded now instead of a couple days ago is this past Sunday, um, around 1.30 in the afternoon, I, cr I fell down the basement stairs pretty badly. As you can tell, I have this neck tat drawing. I also have one in my lower back right now. Um, so yeah, I fell down the stairs um, really badly. Um, I wasn't running or anything like that. The stairs are just really slippery. Um, and I fell down all up my spine. All along my spine is like scratched and stuff now. So that does not feel too good. It hurts really bad to sit my back against something like laying down on my bed. I usually lay on my stomach now with like my arms flat out because it hurts so bad. So I did that. So yes, Sunday I was supposed to work a four hour shift. Mm. I only worked for an hour and a half because I was super, super dizzy. And my dizziness is getting better again. I haven't been feeling up to eat in a lot, which is why today I'm not working at all. I'm just staying here trying to eat. I got all my pad, heat pads on. Um, but yeah, so I made it for an hour and a half. Then I came home, I had a nice hot bath, and then I just laid in bed and watched TV. Um, my mom said I probably didn't have a concussion, so that's good. I'm just really pumped and bruised right now. Still very dizzy, so just trying to get my health back up today. Um, yesterday, I actually managed to stay for my full four hours, which was awesome. By the end, I was super hungry in my legs, and my, I somehow like slammed my ankle, the the foot, the palm of my ankle, um, the heel of my ankle, sorry, against the wall or something. I guess I tried to stop myself and stay with my arms. So my left ankle has been hurting really, really bad. Both of my knees as well, my lower back, like I said, my spine. This part of my shoulders, the right side here, is, and my arm up here. Yesterday when I was at work, I had this heated sleeve on because even here it's really, really sore and tight. Like my muscle on this arm specifically, like everywhere else was tight, but this part was like super tight and even today it's still really sore. Um, so that's why I'm kind of having the heat pad on. Um, gonna try to go for a massage and chiropractic maybe later today. Um, gotta get the phone number for that. Um, but yeah, kind of just taking it easy. Um, Today I was supposed to stay here and watch kids, but again, trying to pick things up off the floor and bend up and down it just was not going to happen. I can't really bend much. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of sitting more straight up than usual. Um, trying to like keep my feet off the ground. Um, so you should sit in, again, like I said, sitting back up against something and it's hard. So this it requires a lot more muscle, but I'm trying to like sit straight up because it feels better on my back that way. So just to let my back relax back into its normal position. But yeah, I'm getting videos edited and uploaded. Um, I did stop at Starbucks to get an iced coffee with cane sugar, um, which I didn't know they had. I'm also trying to make the liquid cane syrup right now. Um, what did I eat? I had something to eat this morning. I was munching on something this morning. I don't remember what. Oh, sorry. I had pancakes. I had two pancakes all year. But I'm going to be making some kind of eggs because I need food and I have a bad headache. So I figured I'd get this edited and uploaded. Um, not much new is going on. Um, I can show you guys a couple things. I can get you out. Um, some of the videos I didn't get to fully upload because the quality just wasn't good. So one of the things I will show you is I did get, as I can see, I did get an Xbox 360. Came with a bunch of games, two controllers, only the white one works. Um, it came with the Kinect, which I haven't really used yet. Um, this is my parents' smart um, TV. It's a, not a smart TV, but it's like an HD, high-definition TV. When I first got it, I thought it was a smart TV, but it's just like really good quality. The graphics are good. Um, so that's new. Um, 
I so the furniture, I got the couch. Um, I actually have my parents vacuum, which is awesome because they're in a trailer right now. This is a box of clothes that I need to go through. This is some stuff I'm trying to sell. Um, one lady was supposed to come and pick up, but her kids were sick, so she didn't end up coming to get it. Um, that's a work in progress. Um, I found these cool things at the store the other day. They're like oil absorbing sheets. I was trying to find the ones for like your hair, but I didn't get that far. Um, yeah, nothing much is new in here. Um, I got my calendar up there. Bedroom's pretty much the same, except for I hung up these lights in the background. There was a video that I was trying to do with home episode where the camera was set up here on its tripod, and it was a video of me and my brother assembling this. Again, I can't do the whole time lapse thing. I don't know how to do that. I don't have a paid software. It's a free one. I wasn't able to do that, so I kind of just deleted the clips. Um, but yeah, this is the closet. It has three buckets that came with it. The shoe organizer, two racks, and then I kind of just hung some stuff up on the sides um, for house coat and stuff. But yeah, put these lights just so it looks a little bit cooler. Um, bathroom, nothing much has changed. I've kind of just tried to tidy it up a little bit. Also got these really cool face shaver things. Yeah, as you can see, the inside there is a sharp blade. There you go. You can see that little sharp blade in there. Tidy that up. But yeah, other than that, nothing much is new. So there's, I'm probably not going to vlog much more today. Um, like I said, I'm just going to be eating, relaxing, reading, getting the videos edited and uploaded. I have a bunch of like stuff I need to do on the computer. I'm going to try to limit that because I don't want to spend too much time um, on that. Um, but yeah, I'm mostly going to eat up some and then go sick because I am exhausted now. So I'm going to get this edited and uploaded and we will see you angels maybe later, maybe not. So have a good day. Peace out. Hey Angel, it's currently Wednesday, May 8th. Um, I got up about 40 minutes ago. I set an alarm for 6 o'clock. I have been so tired. Partially, probably because I fell down the stairs. My body's in like agony. But I've had like no energy the last two days. Like every time I go to bed, I'm like, oh, I can fall asleep and I wake up and I'm excited. And then my alarm goes up and I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting up. But today, I thought I worked up. Worked at 8.30, so got up at like 7.30. I'm like, okay, I have an hour to get ready. And I realized I didn't work till 9, so I'm like, okay, I could have slept in a half hour extra, but drinking a cup of coffee. But sadly, the coffee hasn't done anything for me yet. I'm still like half asleep I'm watching some YouTube because gotta get excited somehow. But yeah, um, today I work 9 to 3 watching kids. Um, Probably not going to get much cleaning done again because I'm super, super sore and tight. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of bending. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. I can easily wash the kids, but cleaning-wise. Oh. So I had like an eyelash just through my eye. But anyways, I work 9 to 3 here. I then 48 at Wendy's. Tomorrow I work 8.30 to 11.30 and 12 to 4. So today I work 9 to 8 and tomorrow I work 8 to 4. And then Friday 9 to 3. And then Saturday morning I have. 45 minute massage. I mean, it costs $80, but after everything, it's worth it. And then Sunday is Mother's Day, so I'm gonna go shopping. Ugh, Friday? Yeah, probably Friday right after work. Yeah. Either tomorrow, Friday after work, I'd rather do that than Saturday. Saturday, Saturday's gonna be busy. But, anyhow, um, yesterday I did some baking and some cooking. Um, I had a baked potato with pork chops and sweet potatoes. I also made some cookies, way too many cookies. Like, look at that. That's like one batch of gluten-free cookies. And like, I'm gonna have to freeze some of these. Um, I made what's called simple syrup. It looks like brown, but it's brown sugar and water and it makes it instead of, you know when you make like an iced coffee and you can't add regular sugar to iced coffee without heating it back up and then you have to wait for it to be iced again. So you just add that, that's super sweet. Um, then in the fridge, we have my sweet potato fries, and then I made some crepes. Um, the crepes didn't turn out too well. This is my iced coffee that I made. Um, tried to make lemonade. I'm not very good at it, apparently. I got some bacon, bought carrots, lettuce, um, cheese whiz. Bought, um, I also bought another thing of peanut butter, because I'm gonna make peanut butter cookies as well for protein. Um, I got carrots and lettuce, so that crossed that off of my list. Didn't get anything else. Cleaning up my recycling bin. 
Uh, I have to get rid of the bandies because they're probably not good anymore. I got my videos edited and uploaded. I'm gonna put my heating pad again on myself because again, super tight and sore, not fun. So I'm gonna go get that heating stuff on, sit back down, watch some YouTube, figure out what I'm gonna eat. I don't know, my food's not been, I haven't been craving like, yes, last night I ate dinner and dinner was good. But I definitely been eating like like craving food, like especially right when I get up. I'm never usually a breakfast person, but usually I'm hungry. Last night I actually forced myself to eat a lot, and I had a couple cookies before bed. So I woke up not serving, which is a good thing. The only reason why it's a bad thing is because I start working half an hour, so I need to get something into me, or I'm not gonna be eating for a bit. But hopefully it's sunny outside today. So let's check if it's sunny outside. We're gonna be going outside like a lot today. Looks to be sunny out. I'm gonna check what the temperature's gonna be too. Perfect. The sun is out. That means we can go outside and enjoy some fresh air. <sighs> Here we go. Today we're going to go outside. So I'm going to go eat, watch some YouTube, and then we're going to go upstairs and we're going to go outside to a park for a walk, for a hike. I don't care where. We're going outside today. So we will see you angels afterwards. Peace out. Hey angels, it's about 6.40 p.m. at night now. Um, I got off of work. Um, had an early supper because I was really hungry. Um, came home and relaxed for a bit, um, got a little bit tidy, but I still have a little bit more tidy up to do, tried to figure out plans a little bit more for tomorrow, um, but anyhow, I went to the store, um, and got a couple of things, I needed a couple of things, and then I found a handful of other items that A, I've been wanting, I guess that B, I've been needing, or C, that I just thought would be cool and helpful in general, um, so yeah, the first thing we're gonna go and look at I should have brought this stuff closer to begin with. There you go, I can't even see it. So the first thing we got here is this wonderful blue little chair. As you can see, it's very small. Um, for my nephew Thomas, it's for his age, it can be pretty sturdy. Um, I hope it's... Um, but yeah, it's a nice small little chair his size. Um, I just thought he'd like it. I can put some of his toys on it for him so when he comes over. Um, it's nice, it's not like a time-out chair or anything over here, and just a nice little chair that hopefully he will like. So, we're going to put that guy right here, maybe put some of our stuff on it. So, I've got a couple of wants, one of the nephew, and so on and such. Okay, so I'm just trying to light things out a little bit better. So, the first thing you saw is that. So, then I'm going to kind of go through... I'm kind of organized on my floor from over here to my right, your eyes is left. It's going to be more my needs, my kitchen stuff, then a little bit more kitchen things that I don't necessarily need, but kind of want. Um, it would be helpful, like, for tools that are useful in the kitchen, but you don't necessarily need them. You can just use, like, knives or pots or whatever, just regular plates and stuff. Um, but this should make it more nice. Um, then coming over, we got a couple of tools. We're kind of needs slash one. I only ended up getting two. Um, but anyway, I'll show you some more like want things. So the first neat thing I got is diapers for my nephew. Um, when I watch him or whatever, um, we're not always guaranteed to have diapers and wipes. So I already had wipes. I believe I have one diaper left. So I got, uh, it's three diapers. It's right his size. So it's three diapers for a dollar at the dollar store. So I don't need to go buy in big packages of diapers or wipes because it's not my kid. But when he's here, I like to have that. Um, then two other things I got from my niece and my nephew. I got this mini edition Bible Adventure Club Jonah and His Amazing Voyage. It was about two dollars, so it's just a little children's storybook, but it's on Jonah and the Whale, which I think was one of the coolest stories in the Bible. He got swallowed by a whale, and by God's grace, he came out alive. So it's kind of cool. It goes through his challenges and stuff. So I got that. Um, my niece always says I don't have a lot for her, which is true. Um, I have a couple things. But I don't have them anymore, so, um, also, the reason why I get a lot of things from my nephew is because he's, um, one and a half, so things like diapers, wipes, high chairs, strollers, um, all those things are needed, um, plates and bowls, sippy cups, like, plastic ones for little kids, he needed, he needs, um, sippy cups with lids, um, again, I can't give him a glass plate and bowl and stuff like that, um, that's just not wise, um, she's older, she's five or six now, so she's, more capable to use that. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit more of it. Um, so I got her a color book. She loves the color. Um, pretty good at it. Um, still pretty small like for someone her age. I don't think this has an age on it. No. But I, I don't know. The picture is like it's a nice, it's a fun coloring book. Um, I think $2, about 50 I wouldn't really buy anything more expensive. 
Um, so there's lots of big spaces, but there's a couple of smaller spaces as well. So we'll see how well she does with it. Um, it's coloring book from here. I already have pencil crayons and stuff. Um, I get her crayons, but I don't ever use them when she comes over. And for right now, it's not as much. This summer, hopefully, they're going to come over more. Then again, we'll continue on with kid stuff. So then again, being like I told you about the whole plates and stuff like that. I think I'm going to move you guys in up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we got these little plates. Um, there's four of them. They're just little plastic plates. Um, again, mostly for my nephew, but my niece as well, so I don't have to worry about her. She's not going to break it, but she is a kid, so I enjoy being young. Then I got these little set of bowls I can use for snacks. Um, they don't really do a lot of soup. They will do cereal. Um, they usually get big bowls of cereal, but I'd rather, I personally, I only have a bowl of cereal instead of not even once, but like once or twice a week maybe, and that's mostly for a snack or whatever. I'm um, like, I'm not a big breakfast person. I can't really put something in my stomach in breakfast, so I will start off with cereal so like the wall, the water, and the acid and stuff gets absorbed. So then I got little bowls and four little plastic cups for them. My nephew is not at the age for cups yet, but my niece is, and I have a bunch of little cups, but they are glass, so again, just something more kid-friendly. So that's pretty much all the kid friendly stuff I got. Um, a book, story time book for when they come over for sleepovers, color and book for any diapers, which is in need, a nice chair. So they each got their own like fun thing, and they got you know plates and cups for themselves, which they're both like, um, and a story book. Continue on. Um, right out of parchment paper. Um, the one I had was also really wide. Again, all I have is a toaster oven, so this one's a little bit shorter, not by much. Um, so I'm hoping this is gonna work better. Since it's oven safe, non-stick, it's two dollars, so I'm not too picky. Out of sponges, I go through these like crazy. I use these for my dishes, my counters, my bathroom. My these are my go-to thing, and it's about twenty-five for ten of them. This lasts me usually two easily, easily more than two weeks. This lasts me quite a while, so I figured I'd pick up another pack while I'm out. Um, Late at night when I take relaxing baths, or if I'm just trying to do some late night devos or early morning devos, I love my candles. So today I just got regular ones, um, two dollars for three for two. Um, could have got like a lavender and lemon, but then that would have been more money. So I tried not to do it. Um, I have the same towels that I've been using for years. Um, they were originally face and bath towels from um, college, um, and then also I did a lot of laundry about two weeks ago. All my whites turned brown and black. I think it's in like she did blue and gray. Like my whites and my light collars turned different, sh turned it darker, mostly because I, my clothes wasn't dry, and so I had to put it in the dryer twice, I think almost three times for some of it. So I just got a nice green and a nice white one just for drying um, my hands and stuff. I don't usually dry the counters or dishes. This is usually literally just for drying my hands off or, you know, company's hands off with. Um, a nice little plastic salad bowl. It was about 25 for this, which is just a nice... I don't really have, I have like a bowl that I've been using for years for my salad. I now use that for my fruits. So this is just a nice little size bowl for, it's a little big for a person for a salad, but a nice little salad bowl. Um, four more kitchen items. Um, we've got these little package containers here. Um, most of you are doing like lasagna, so I'm going to do stuffed shells. Um, you can bake, you can reheat, you can freeze. Um, you can store them in there, and I thought it was cool, about 50 for three of them. And then also with foils, I've got the broiler pans. I do a lot of fish, and as you can see on there, it has some fish. Um, and specifically for toaster ovens, I mean, you can use them for regular ones. Um, you also put them on the lift and support pan at all times with a large cookie sheet. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd try this see if it makes the, the fish taste any different. Um, I not really used broiler pans before, um, we'll see, um, cook, I don't think you can also cook bacon on it so the grease drips a little bit better, so we'll try it all as something new to try in the kitchen, um, garlic press, and again, this is one of those things, and even those things, like, you can easily just buy a regular container, cook it in a normal thing, and then store it, but for me, I find something like this would be easier, so if I'm making, like, a lasagna, I can just put it into three containers and there, I got my three lasagnas, one for dinner tonight and two for later on in the week. Just again, you can use it a normal thing, but again, that's just a tool that's helpful and made specifically for that. Again, if you're trying to save money, 
I'm working on saving money, um, but I'm also trying to get myself set up and enjoy life and try to, not to say expand my horizons, but work better on cooking and not wasting food as much. And especially working with just a toaster oven, it's a little bit easier to have the, the container so you can cook it in and then just freeze it in instead of having to wash more dishes. Enough for my rant. Um, garlic press. Again, you can easily take a knife, smush it, cut off the ends, and smush it again to make smaller pieces and just put it on. Um, probably, I'm not sure, I've never really used like a garlic press like I probably did growing up and stuff like that. But personally, um, I used garlic powder, but now I'm trying to go to more fresh things like fresh garlic and onion instead of, garlic, um, instead of the powders and stuff like that. I find it just tastes better and it's more nutritional for you. Um, yeah, this is also a cherry pitter. I don't eat cherries, so I, just, I literally just noticed that. But a nice silver, there's a nice plain silver garlic press. We'll see if I like it again. You can usually just use a knife. My mom showed me how to do that. Um, the next thing we have is again just a cool thing. Um, I've been really into eggs, like hard boiled eggs. Um, especially, I love poached eggs. So this one. It's great for hard boiled eggs, poached eggs, omelets, flans, creme brulee, cheesecake bites. Um, I'm not really, I've never really opened this one yet. Um, but yeah, it's this copper egg thing, so I'm actually gonna take a quick second and open it. So it got really loud upstairs, so I'm just gonna open this. Um, I thought it was four dollars, it's pretty cool. Um, you open it. Um, instruction copper eggs recipe book. Um, so this is a little tool right here. Comes with four of these little guys. So I guess the idea is, oh, it's uncrafts okay. cake. So there's this little egg holder. Um, you can cook boiled eggs, soft eggs, over easy eggs. Um, eggs Benedict, you can do omelets in this. Cheesecake, creme brulee, all kinds of things. Eggs Benedict, it says. So you just put it on a regular, put the eggs in there, um, deviled eggs, that's cool. Crack each egg into the egg and cover for a little pot. And you pretty much just cook them for deviled eggs. It talks about poached eggs. You can do, oh, you can do like mini egg omelet. That's cool. I might actually have to try that. So I think this is going to be its own separate video. Um, yeah, that's probably just going to be its own video. But we have three minutes left um, before, because I'm trying to do higher quality. Oh, we have five minutes. Okay. So we have... Measuring tape. I didn't need to look. It's a measuring tape. Again, three dollars. I don't own a measuring tape. Handy tool. Um, it's summertime, so I'm, I'm getting stuff ready for my bike so I can get more exercise in instead of driving places. Um, so just to reflect those stickers. Buck twenty-five. Um, another tool. I'm still not quite too sure what this is. Well, I know I know what it is. I don't know the name for it. I have another one of these, but this one's just better quality and it's a little travel. If you can look in close. There you go. She uses all kinds of tools in there. Come in the big, you can see the handle. So that's that. It's about four bucks, but that's like a lot of tools there. And then I just got myself a yo yo because I like it. So that's it for today. I'm going to go put all this stuff away, clean up, relax. This video probably won't be up till tomorrow night. Um, tomorrow I probably won't be filming much for this. We'll probably end the week up. So this will be up on Friday night. Probably. Hopefully around dinner time, five. Hopefully, um, it wasn't a crazy exciting week. Um, again, just getting a couple things here and there. So I'm gonna go relax, talk to my family, play my day out, and we'll see you in just tomorrow. Peace.